And now, Mr. Cheeseball's review of the, the Toxic Avenger. Welcome back. We have all had fun on our vacation. Oh, yes, we have, Anne. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Anyways, we're today we're going to look at... Seriously? You're doing another trauma film? Of course. And this is the one that started the horror comedy genre for them all. Well, at least it's only one film. And today we will be comparing the Anniversary Edition DVD to the Blu-ray, and finally, the Japanese Edition. Oh, God damn it. This ain't no place to kiss and hug. Go get a room if you want that stuff. I'm gonna, gonna show you how to love. You gotta, gotta, if you want my... several versions of this floating around. There is the two-disc anniversary DVD. There is the lovely, the lovingly Blu-ray for you all. And of course, the Japanese reversion. All these are digitally remastered versions that have been put out. But where are we going to start? With the Japanese version. Do we really need that warning? Turn it off! Turn it off! We needed that warning! Oh, okay, okay, so let's, let's do the Blu-ray then. Thank you. This warning is familiar. It's not the same. It's not the same. Cheesy, this isn't August Underground. It's Troma. It, it's Troma! You're supposed to finish it. Of course! Melvin's entire life, in fact, entire being, was changed by toxic chemical waste. You don't say. Foreshadowy. Well, so, wait a minute, the movie opens, no boobs, no guts, and no gore? Nothing gratuitous has happened. Well, this is a traumarific episode. What shall we do to change that? Oh my yellow. Well, that works. So, so Melvin is the hero, and the two jerks and their girlfriends driving around running people over, they're the villains in this movie? Well, so far. Wait, haven't you seen this movie? Well, yes, but what about the kids at home? You're letting them watch this? <laughs> so, Melvin gets tricked by the baddies into wearing a green dotted pink tutu onesie. He kisses a sheep. And then he jumps out a window into a vat of toxic waste. My little Melvin. He must have finally reached puberty. Damn, that's a pretty brutal way to hit puberty. Just saying. So Melvin hits puberty and becomes New Jersey's first ever superhero. Well, at least he's doing less property damage than Superman ever did. We find out the mayor used to run the nuclear facility by Nukem High. I knew he was familiar. Oh, oh, so we get to meet the love interest. I think this bitch is blind. This man is a stereotype. This is a comedy by Troma. Are you surprised? Not really. <laughs> but I was surprised that the audience, during test screenings of this film, freaked out more about the dog getting shot than the kid getting his head ran over. Twice. Let that be a lesson to you boys and girls. If you are out at night playing in the streets, no one will mourn you if you get hit by a car. So Melvin defeats all the bad guys in the restaurant. 
and I never want to have tacos or a milkshake from that establishment ever again. Damn right, it's better than yours. I could teach you, but I'd have to charge. Kellis called. She said, hell no! So, the blind girl is rescued by Melvin. Melvin starts to clean up the town of all the baddies. And we find out the mayor is the head of a drug ring. Isn't he the head of everything corrupt in this town? I'm not sure. Let's ask San Sandusky. What do you think, Coach Sandusky? The things are gonna change in this town. I'm not just another pretty face. He's so funny. It's not ironic. <laughs> no. No. Atlantis is gonna show up at our house and she's going to knife you in your sleep. Ouch. I'm gonna take you away one song. This movie has everything. Romance, toxic piss, gore, except the exploding car flip. We don't get that until Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD. You mean we have to wait till 1990 to get an exploding car flip? It's okay. We use it every other time we watch a trauma film. Well... As long as this doesn't happen when we go to Horror Hound! Hey! It was in the movie! We just had to skip a scene! <laughs> That's Academy Award winner Marissa Tomei! Isn't this like her second appearance ever in a film? Yes, it is. It just goes to show you, you can be in a trauma film and go on to have a productive movie career, just like Marissa, Samuel L. Jackson, and Kevin Costner. How did you learn that? From Tit. The what? Trauma's Intelligence Test. From Trauma's Edge TV, available at traumashop.com. Of course. We can never get through a trauma film without making a damn announcement, can we? Of course. So Melvin ends up killing all the villains. Um, including the little old lady. Little person. Little. And the mayor. He kills ya. And end the day safe. Hurry! Hey! You gave away the ending. This film was released in 84. It's older than me! If you haven't seen it, what the hell's your problem? True. So what did you think of the film? This film honestly was the first trauma film that I had ever seen. It was sometime in 98 when it aired on the television show Svengoolie. The film of course was highly edited for it being on primetime TV, but I still remember watching the show and I found it hilarious and fascinating all at the same time. Now that I've seen the full unedited movie, <laughs> nothing's changed. It's a great trauma film, it's still one of my favorite traumas, and I honestly find it a timeless film. Highly recommend this film. This is the one that started it all, and is my personal favorite trauma film. There have been three sequels up to this point, however we will cover those when we get to them. The special features on the 20th anniversary DVD are as follows. An intro and commentary by Uncle Lloydy, fan projects, Toxic Avenger The Music Kill, and please note that this isn't what became Toxic Avenger The Musical. It is a similar idea, and the DVD also has interviews. The Blu-ray spe special features are a new video with Mark Torgel, who played Melvin, H the HD version of the Toxic Avenger, a newer intro by Uncle Lloydy, new commentary by the stars, and finally, a new interview. Which one should you pick up? Well, it all comes down to how much you love this film. If this is your favorite trauma movie, I would suggest buying all three of these. This way you have some different features, even though the movie is the exact same, except for the Japanese version, which is longer by four minutes. You have an HD copy, and a lot of special features, and some different scenes. The Blu-ray goes for $24.95 on Troma's website, when it's not on sale. The DVD goes for $19.95 when not on sale, and the Japanese version also goes for $19.95. Do we have, like, an extra clip or cameo for this review? I think so. Oh, Mr. Cheeseball, 
You're so sexy. Are you a model? Nice fucking model! <laughs> By chance, put that in. <laughs> nice fucking model. with the she-devils. Ooh, the she-devils. They're coming to get you, Mr. Cheeseball. They're coming to get you, Mr. Cheeseball. They're coming to get you, Mr. Cheeseball! <laughs> yes, sir. 